What's up guys, so a small update on my swimming. Today is my first uh, swimming lesson with uh, Amanda at the Riverside Club. I did super excited to have my form picked apart and uh, tell me where I, exactly where I suck and how I can get better. So I'll uh, go in right now and I'll give you an update once I'm done. It's an hour session, then I have uh, an upper body workout day today. Uh, physio, some more work with uh, my clients, and then uh, and then I'm chilling for the rest of the night. All right, so I just got back home from swimming. As you can see, still fighting water. Uh, all jokes aside, though, it was fantastic. To anyone who is uh, interested in swimming, 100% go hire a coach, go hire a trainer. Let them look at your form. Uh, let them point out your weaknesses, let them help you get better. Instead of practicing the wrong form, the wrong technique, go get it checked out, go get it fixed, and then practice the things right. Because like one of my good friends says, practice makes permanent. Practice doesn't make perfect. Only perfect practice makes perfect. So you want to be practicing proper form, proper technique, whether it comes to swimming, running, cycling, working out, it doesn't matter. Learn the right way to do things and then practice it. So with that being said, I really, really love the session. Amanda is a great coach. So my next task is go into a pool and swim, swim as, as long as possible without stopping and then send that information to my coach and then she'll come up with the workout routine to help me get better because we got, we have half Ironman to finish in 13 weeks now. Stay tuned for that. I'm super pumped. I'm more motivated and more disciplined than ever. We're gonna get it done and we're gonna show a good time doing it as well. I'm gonna go now do my upper body workout. Of course, I'm gonna use some uh, pre-workout, half a scoop of batch 27. I'm gonna use some uh, hydraminos. Again, TC Nutrition, lemon iced tea. Yeah, and that's that. I am also trying to improve my bench press right now at the same time while doing all my uh, Ironman training. So this exercise here is a uh, board bench press. I don't have a board, I have this uh, yoga block. So I'm gonna put under my chest, uh, under my hoodie. And then the bar is going to travel towards the block and then come back up. So shortening the length allows me to lift a bit more weight and really focusing on that top, top range of the movement, uh, locking out, strengthening my triceps. This is uh, 250 pounds here, going for four reps. Again, just because you're doing Ironman training or just because I'm doing Ironman training doesn't mean this has to be completely put on pause. Still trying to combine both. Another crucial tip, when you're benching by yourself, uh, you don't want to have uh, the uh, collars. That way, if something happens right now, for example, I can't press it up, I can just tilt it to the side and get the weight off that way. Okay, so this goes under. Bring your chest up, shoulder blades together. I am doing also a uh, close grip press here. So, so there isn't a ton of ranger motion. It's mostly, like I said, we want to really focus on that upper portion, really keeping those shoulder blades together and just driving with the, uh, chest and also lots of triceps. All right, so in this back row, what we're really gonna be focusing on is stretching out the lat completely, bring your arm back. Think of pulling your, your elbow backwards. That way you'll be able to activate your back, activate your lats a lot more efficiently. 12, 10, eight reps, super set with uh, chest presses. That way I'm able to save some time, target two antagonist opposing muscles more efficiently. Yeah. 
in this specific movement, I'm gonna be focusing on the lower pack here. So I'm gonna push my hips forward on the seat. Then have this roller here to press on, help me get the weight up. Chest up, shoulders down. You really wanna be thinking of bringing your elbows together. That way the pack activation is gonna be a lot more pronounced. Finishing off here with some fun stuff. We've got some bicep curls with this preacher curl machine. Super set with overhead tricep extensions with the dumbbell. 12, 10, 8 reps for both. Again, really, really focusing on the, the concentric, lowering down on the eccentric portion, making sure that all the work is in the bicep. Right, moving on to an overhead seated tricep extension. I'll be doing it from the back so you can see the arms moving. One of my favorite post-workout meals is uh, cream of wheat, chocolate chips, almond milk, and bananas. All right, so here's the finished product. You can see bananas, almond butter, the chocolate chips are, the chocolate chips are at the bottom there. Uh, probably about 25, 30 grams of protein, 20-ish from the milk and some from almond butter. This is not, uh, very protein heavy meal for me, mostly carbs and fats. If you do want to have more protein within this meal, you can always add a scoop of protein powder. The one I usually, or I should say from time to time, I add uh, ghost uh, protein powder, Chips Ahoy. It has real uh, Chips Ahoy chunks in there. So that's cool. Anyways, I'm gonna go have this meal then uh, read a bit, work, and uh, that's it for today. Tomorrow, I have my first brick session of this uh, prep. So two hours on the bike and then a short 20 minute run. I'll film that and then uh, go get a haircut, work a bit more, and I'll upload this video tomorrow. Hey, so I just finished my swim test. I got 65 meters nonstop, which is nothing to write home about, but it's, uh, the starting point send the info to my coach now i'm hopping on my bike and doing a two-hour bike ride and then a 20-minute run back to back bringing myself some uh, stro stroop waffles we'll test them out during the ride and see how well my body digests them all right i'm gonna get going and i'll update you in the middle of the ride All right, so I'm uh, 45 minutes into my bike ride. Just did a big hill back there. It's really cold. So I've been going kind of slow this whole bike ride. I'm gonna have some uh, uh, strew waffles and then keep going. I have another hour and a bit to go and then a 20 minute run. So far, so good. These are my views for today's bike ride. You can see the mountains in the distance there. All right, so wrapped up my bike ride. Super cold. Lesson learned though. Gotta buy some tights to bike. Outdoor run, 20 minutes, zone one to zone two. Can barely feel my toes. Dumb mistake of not wearing warm clothes for my bike ride. 
all right so i'm done all my training for the day the bike ride like i said was freezing cold could have gone a lot faster but that's a good learning lesson for me for the next time dress the f up the run after the bike ride was great uh i had a bit of an issue keeping my heart rate down the first bit of a run but then once i got a couple of minutes in the rest of the uh 20 minutes were good and uh the fueling i think was on point this time the stroop waffles definitely helped i also had the tc nutrition hydro amino am with uh some himalayan pink salt so about uh one and a half scoops divided into two water bottles and uh, half a teaspoon of himalayan pink salt in uh, both of them in each of them i should say finishing the rest of this so this is how the troop buffer looks like i'm gonna go to a bike shop now get one of my spokes checked out because it looks like it has a slight bend and then i'm uh, gonna go home work then a physio then a haircut and then i'm done for the day all right so back home now got a haircut visited my uh physiotherapist had some uh sushi and ice cream with my friend now it's time to do some online work for my uh, clients and i also got this package right here from none other than popeyes so i'm gonna show you guys what i got in terms of supplements like I said many, many times, before you buy supplements, make sure you have invested in healthy, organic, whole foods. All right, so item number one is uh, All Max Joint Support. It's called All Flax All-in-One Joint Formula. So it basically has all the necessary mineral, vitamins and uh, Ingredients like uh, curcumin, UC2, which is a standardized cartilage, all the good stuff to make sure that your joints stay strong, that you have proper mobility in the joints. I do lots of running right now, as well as cycling, swimming, and weightlifting. So I want to make sure I have, I give my joints the proper support they need. Got two of those. Up next is uh, the same thing I already have. The, uh, they just had a sale, Popeyes had a sale, so I decided to stock up. These are TC Nutrition Hydraminos. Really, really good for hydration. Up next, the most researched supplement, the most effective supplement out there, creatine. Really, really cheap. One kg of creatine here. Will last me about a year a little bit less than a year like 200 days i take five grams every single day next one beta alanine very very important for muscular endurance i'm gonna be using this before my cardio sessions to make sure i get that extra little bit during the sessions and push myself even further now last but not least grenade oreo bars these things are like crack cocaine they are just really really good they literally taste like oreos you don't need them but it's convenient to be able to enjoy a little treat and know that you're still getting some protein in and then i also end up getting a free shaker bottle which is kind of nice so this is that's the hole that's all i got i didn't want to go overboard and get stuff that I don't need. So yeah, that's it. Uh, overall, very, very productive week so far. I've got short swim tomorrow as well as an hour and a half zone two run. Really excited for the run. I feel refreshed. I feel properly nourished. My nutrition has been on point. Very, very excited to see where the next 13 weeks take me. I have 13 weeks as of tomorrow until my half Ironman, which is on July 29th. 
and then as of tomorrow it's also four four weeks from uh half marathon i'm doing in uh on may 26th so i don't have any time to waste everything i do is uh purely towards these two goals another thing i wanted to address before i finish the video is lots of people think that they don't have enough time to dedicate towards something as ambitious as doing half ironman or full ironman or anything else that requires quite some time within your already busy week so what i have to say about that that's bs we all spend way too much time on social media you are currently watching this video so you're consuming this content you're spending time watching this video you're spending time watching other videos look at your day hour by hour and see where you're losing that time then reorganize your day and fit the things you want to do two months ago i thought that working out weight, lifting weights five times a week and doing an hour of cardio was a lot of training now i'm doing three to four workouts a day sometimes and i still manage to fit them in as, as a matter of fact i feel like i even have more time in the day because i wake up early i read books i do my training i work with my clients i feel more motivated and more encouraged to grow my own business while also growing myself as an athlete so instead of making excuses find the time to do the things you want to do if you want to do them that's another issue altogether quite frequently we set these goals and we have no idea why we set them sit down with yourself make sure you know why you're doing what you're doing and then find the time we all have the time see you guys in the next one thank you for watching subscribe comment down below have a great day